Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Controversy is nothing new to the British royal family, but never before in modern times has one of their own subjected them to such an unprecedented level of public backlash. This situation seemed like nothing at all, but it has now turned into an international crisis that resulted in anyone with ties to Meghan being questioned and coming this close to getting secrets Prince Harry is harboring. The scandal blew up quite unexpectedly when one ordinary evening Prince Harry decided to search for something on Meghan's phone. But what he found out would startle him. Dripping with sarcasm, a little snippet of one particular chain confirmed Meghan had scrubbed personal pictures that included her next to Prince Andrew, the troubled uncle whose image has been savaged by any number of scandals. This has had major consequences which the royal family is scrambling to control. Harry was so outraged when he discovered that the photos were missing from Meghan's phone and cloud storage. Stories from people in the couple's circle suggest Harry became a different person, his eyes bloodshot with the burden of what he found when it sank in, confrontations reportedly led to Meghan being defensive and showing both guilty frustration. These photos were disturbing to Harry not just because of what the world could see, but they cut a startling scene for him into Meghan at her most nefarious, willing to invest in erasing parts of her past. Why would Meghan have such photos in a reportedly pretentious location like the secret rooms of her mansion is beyond anyone's central question. And, even more importantly, what possessed her to idly take them down? Those them further afield can be understood, but none are as curious as the increasingly bizarre idea that Meghan may have been friendlier with Prince Andrew than is commonly thought. Any linkage to him will create the most amount of crisis risk given what happened with his good buddy, Andrew. Injunctive relief from Dominion means more than a routine digital brooming, though. Even if the connections to Andrew were tenuous, they would further complicate Meghan's already fraught royal relations. For a woman who has positioned herself as sympathetic to social and progressive causes, and against outmoded institutions of power, being linked with Andrew, forever tarnished by his scandalous history, would be something approaching an inferno in terms of public relations. Compounding the mystery is Meghan's penchant for creating an image in her mind and working zealously to bring it into being. One who has often been selective about revealing parts of her life with the public, presenting an image that is always glamorous and concealing unfavorable elements behind closed doors. The idea that she was carefully cutting photos of Andrew out is suspicious at best, indicating there might be something wide-reaching that will come up. Is she only embarrassed or is there some deeper, more harmful truth that through hell and high water will never come to light? Megan risks more than just posting and deleting photos. But if the photos were personal or embarrassing, Megan's decision to delete them could suggest she is trying to lie low in relation an embarrassing connection. But a disturbing question about her has emerged, how did she first come to be connected with Prince Andrew? It would be a conflicting truth that flies in the face of her polished image as a modern and independent royal woman, but she knows it's out there just waiting to land. Imperative to that was the implication of a more profound connection between Meghan and Andrew than she has led on, which undermines her campaign against royal traditions at odds with progressive values. It could be her hypocrisy that has even served to validate the suspicions of some critics who began believing this long ago despite lacking any solid proof. Meghan, of course, is not only guarding her name but also the pride of husband Harry, who, for all that's changed over at his old grandma Elizabeth's, remains more solid than ever and less likely to walk away anytime soon. The same cannot necessarily be said for Markle as she cuts ties with one life before diving headlong into another. And for Harry, who is already figuring out the three-dimensional puzzle that is his family life, this places him in a difficult situation of further tarnishing public perception as well complicating person loyalties. But this latest fiasco is part of a much bigger picture about the secretive and controlling way Meghan has approached her public image. From her divisive stepping back from royal duties to never-ending feuds with the British press, Meghan has long sought for herself a mantle of persecuted innocence at once hounded by and misunderstood by those within the palatial walls. 
but that victim narrative has come under scrutiny since details of her own behavior in private, away from the eyes and footage of surveillance cameras she carefully sought to control, have become public. This control of the narrative extends, at times impulsively and pathologically so, through lawsuits against tabloids or controlling Netflix documentaries, yet also in aiding toward vigilantly curating one's specific image. These show signs of being heavily invested in her story and perception versus transparency slash realness. But the really tight control they are asserting over Megan's life has probably generated a reasonable amount of suspicion as well, about other aspects of her life she might not be revealing to Harry, or maybe even something troubling lurking in the shadows that hasn't been told and never will. Backers of Megan hold that if she is willing to lie about her own depiction, those types of deceptions are hardwired deep into the core character, an inherent trait making self-interest supersede family and public duty. Reaction in the public after this scandal came out became split, with Meghan's supporters defending her continued deceptions while those who see no she'll do whatever it takes to live up to that deceitsville image of hers. Not even the most ardent fan of Meghan is not feeling a little uncomfortable here as she continues to return with one scandal too many which would make it hard for her misunderstood outsider narrative to hold water anymore. It becomes ever more difficult to believe her, and even harder to reconcile that pattern of stealthy evasion with the image she worked so hard at constructing. Meghan's former favor which she held in the public realm has been called into question causing huge ripples for both hers and Harry forcefully for their public image, vital not just for personal pride but as the root of both his and her brand and ability to support themselves financially once they set up a new life away from the royal family. Being able to whip up media attention and get public opinion on its side is absolutely key for them, yet each new scandal erodes that support furthermore, it means isolating themselves even more from the people who they have been so good at courting. Although the focus of this scandal has been on Meghan, it is important not to underestimate how devastatingly formative racism can be for Prince Harry as well. For a man who prides himself, and has publicly stated on multiple occasions, to make family, wife of his dreams, hearkening back the words used during their engagement interview, and beliefs at top priority above all else in life, the way he finds out Meghan's private actions strikes him as an utter personal betrayal. Harry's reaction highlighted the raw anger and disbelief that goes hand in hand with a moment like this in order to demonstrate what feels at stake emotionally. This is a highly public battle, one that puts Harry's loyalty to Meghan heavily on the line. The revelation of this information makes him consider the alarming idea that Meghan is not only defending herself but lying. Meanwhile, Harry finds himself suffocated by the weight of duty to his royal blood, cramming him into an impossible situation where love for Meghan collides with everything else in life. Harry is forever caught between his wife and his old life, which only enhances the sense of destitution. As the scandal unfolds, it sideswipes Harry who now must face questions about his marriage and choices. The royal family's response to the scandal remains silent, their tactic with Meghan and Harry has always been a long game where they appear not do anything but still manage things behind closed doors, adjusting as necessary. This is nothing short of the aforesaid far too familiar tactic of monarchical silence, effectively public mind control. That is the rub for Buckingham Palace with Meghan's latest controversies, they not only make it easy to castigate her and Harry as reckless, self-serving idiots but will also serve up a delicious helping of I told you so when it comes time for them to renew the brand deal in due course. His depiction also comes back to the idea that they make a miserable royal couple. On the other, it can also be seen as a microcosmic rendering of what passes for media discourse in contemporary times, an uncontrollable chaos where even carefully vetted silence is transformed into grist for the mill. And the royal family can keep its powder dry, coming across as poised and above it all. In stark contrast to Meghan's approaches, which often include making public statements and seeking legal action before carefully planned media appearances. The palace's reserve isn't all about form, it is a tactical move designed to stress the differences between these two camps. Silently deconstructing the fabric of Meghan's story with surgical precision. The everlasting tale surrounding Meghan and Harry is not strictly personal. Being the cottagecore fairy garden, 
it has far-reaching implications for everything royal. A monarchy that trades on the image of stability and tradition is now being dragged into an entirely modern media shitshow fueled by scandal and speculation. The couple have reignited long-standing debates just because they can't change their behavior or simply from being naive to the lasting public impact of their actions. That even as inadvertent white Megan seems like a deliberate dig at parting shot on royal behavior. In the eyes of the institution, as Megan acts and symbolizes change, a break from tradition that is also an individual challenging authority. And her tendency to air private rose in public was always going spark angst within the royal camp. Still, her marathon of scandals has made an embarrassment the family can no longer abide. The latest disclosures have made it clear Meghan's memory will remain an enduring bone of contention as the palace struggles with how to move on. This is not just about the immediate aftermath of a scandal and how they navigate it, but also mustn't lose sight entirely to see their way through this in service of protecting slash improving upon slash reactivating elements that sit inside the royal brand when so many seem ready for lights out on anything relating back to Meghan or Harry. The elevator pitch of this reality show-sized mess is getting more and more drastic by the day, and gets really complicated as a result of how thickly it intertwines with unfolding revelations regarding Meghan Markle's scrubbed photos and secret links to Prince Andrew scandal. Every turn peels back another layer of a twisted story examining lies, power and the relentless gaze placed upon life in any royal arena. Over time, New dimensions of the scandal emerge to show us different angles about what is taking place. Evoking echoes of the public and private spheres to be shifted around in the Sussex's wake as this saga deals with matters of leaks, exemplified by Meghan's deletion photos hinting at an approach to managing her own story presented to Britain. As Meghan and Harry continue to deal with the leaks, rumors of more incriminating materials are being circulated in magazines. The possibility that additional more compromising documents or images will come to light is especially worrying given the enduring nature of digital footprints in an age where what goes online, stays online. The palace's reputation for secrecy suggests a vast well of potentially unflattering information to be dripped out in calculated doses if and when it suits the royal family down the line, should Harry and Meghan keep stepping off message. The threat of more exposure for Meghan is not just about momentary personal embarrassment, she stands to see the sides unravel on her entire public facade. The dilemma intensifies the intrigue of this long-running performance, with viewers tuning in to see whether the palace or some other insider is going down. We have elected to share additional information about Meghan. As a result of the tendency that their coming out fear induces in Meghan and Harry to always be on guard, it entraps them into becoming further entrenched with national defense mode which can only heighten royal gloves. As if things were not already bad enough, Prince Andrew's naming in the controversy with Meghan adds a very combustible element to it. Andrew, himself conspicuously shunned by many other members of the royal family over his own scandals again recently hit headlines for chiming in due to his past connection with Meghan. This unlikely linking smears Meghan, only to create a sensational pathway back into action for Andrew. It is alleged Meghan removed some of the pictures as she did not want Andrew's new girlfriend seeing old snaps. From this vantage, Meghan appears both to be protecting herself and in the position of treating others' secrets, a role fraught with dilemmas and potential, albeit inadvertent, betrayals. Andrew's role in this scandal threatens that finely calibrated equilibrium within the family. IFA shamed Royal trying his best to stay out of the headline again. Rekindling a friendship with Meghan might well irk some and in particular those likely dragged into any ongoing scandal from other members still keen to distance themselves away from previous allegations. Meghan's moves are unwelcome reminder to the monarchy, which has gone out of its way to distance itself from Andrew misdeeds. The battle between Meghan Markle and Buckingham Palace continues as allegations fly over who worked with the Times for a bombshell investigation that laid bare life within the firm. And then there is the effect of this ongoing fracas on Meghan and Harry's marriage. Deleted photos discovered after some fierce arguing only adds to the tension between them. What Harry says, his surprise, anger and sense of disloyalty for how QE2 acted towards him after it goes public, 
reveals a larger crisis in their relationship beyond the media optics into private belief. As Harry deals with these revelations, their marriage is slowly being torn apart. Meghan was far, far more secretive and controlling of her prism than Harry in comparison lovingly revealing nuggets from his past and family. This fundamental dissonance in how they deal with conflict and handle the public face of their lives has started to bubble over, something both do not seem equipped enough to solve. The scandal is not just a question of Meghan maintaining her public image but is also about keeping the marriage together. It is a lot of work forcing oneself to not feel sad, angry, or despaired, so much effort hiding their true emotions and keeping up the pieces. There is then an increasingly watchful eye on every mistake. Now as Harry and Meghan are plunged into this next test, the open question of whether their marriage can survive all these conflicting forces is a far more pressing concern. How Meghan and Harry have used the media has been central to their public image, so how will they brush off this scandal? Until recently, they had finessed carefully timed interviews and good publicity to position themselves as contemporary royals committed to dragging the monarchy into a more current age against its will. The present crisis has shown that the construct and management of such an image, no matter how elaborate or well-organized their media campaign will only ever mitigate some inevitable consequences for what they have done. When the Sussexes try, like all vanity fairy tale protagonists before them, and many since and probably still to come, to control their narrative through silence or carefully worded statements released by a few pre-vetted trusted carers while suffering under extensive NDAs, or crawling away into legal remonstrations from LA mansions against those tormenting white colonial media. People are now wobbling decisively beyond a bit over it. Harry and Meghan's tried-and-true fanbase is starting to wither away amid controversy after controversy, many are beginning to doubt that the pair have entirely been straightforward or honest. This makes it hard for them to reclaim the narrative. Their media tactics break down further in their ongoing pap wars with the British press that tears apart every minutiae of any part, like lives, of theirs. Instead of being allowed to craft a fairy tale narrative of redemption, Meghan and Harry have been locked into an endless cycle of defense and crisis management that now feeds the ongoing scandal. With every new revelation, it chips away at the brand they have worked so hard to craft and does little to help thwart that narrative. Debate around Meghan and Harry has always been extremely split amongst the public, but recent events have somewhat tarnished opinion of them. Some see Meghan's behavior as part of a long-standing tendency to act in a secretive, manipulative and untruthful manner that she exhibits to suit her own purposes. Because the harder Meghan attempts to redefine herself as separate from her past, more and more she is irrevocably linked with it, compelling observers no longer willing to tolerate what they see as revisionism. 93% of the UK have this opinion this change in perspective is extremely important as it not only affects how Meghan herself can be viewed but also Harry. The disappointment of the public does not stop short of Meghan, but also includes Harry more and more who he is seen to be participating in actions of his wife. The perception that Harry has abandoned his values and kin to protect Meghan will shatter the carefully maintained image he cultivated over years, painting him as a pushover who can be manipulated by the Sussexes. The court of public opinion, in its infinite and verbose wisdom has rendered judgment, a pair that remains aloof from reality at the expense of their own brand. That shift is not inconsequential to their ability to hang around for the long term, your public mostly pays in some form or else you are dead. Her edits also place Meghan even further on the outside of this intricate spiderweb-like network through removing pictures with Andrew. In trying to wipe the slate clean of that relationship, Meghan revealed a deeper lack of faith in her new family. It could be seen as a sardonic severance of ties that will only further separate her from any remaining chance at reconciliation with the Windsors. This scandal has most likely widened the gap between Meghan and everybody else in the royal world, including these who just before may well have felt a twinge of sympathy. At odds with the royal family's traditional efforts to avoid scandal and its emphasis on discretion. Meghan has aggressively tried to control her own reputation in ways that not only have been viewed as mistakes but mutinies within an institution deeply rooted in a strict code of personal behavior. 
As Megan becomes more and more isolated, so her ability to navigate the complex web of royal relationships diminishes. Megan is haunted by her personal confinement and it influences Harry also caught in the conflict between his devotion to Megan, strains of division within his family growing. Megan did not bother creating any rifts, but the damage of their estrangement looms large as each scandal unfolds. The palace has maintained a calculated silence throughout this controversy, an excellent crisis management strategy. The royal family is opting to indirectly take a side, allowing public sentiment determine the tale and creating at least some separation from Meghan slash Harry so as not looking too clearly against them. Which is why the hands-off in the face of crisis approach works to AT in keeping all eyes and ears focused firmly on Sussex drama. This is also further evidence of the palace taking a strategic approach to defend against any possible criticism while allowing Meghan and Harry's actions speak for themselves. But the very fact that, despite all else they are allowed to do so, is one of several reminders for those with little in common with a billionaire couple who continue navel-gazing around service and suffering, when Harry and Meghan chose this life. Woke Washington plutocrats wrapped up as compassionate celebs, it was inevitable their most cutthroat scrutiny would come from Team Queen. This is a deliberate move, showcasing the palace's ability to deal well with scandals without letting themselves get swept up in them. After all, this approach suggests Meghan and Harry are on board with their reputations taking the hit of their choices. During a week in which the Sussexes have fought to control their narrative, the palace only grows stronger and venerated for always serving as that monolith, an institution meant to pass from untold millenniums continued under different monarchic guises. Meghan and Harry, meanwhile, are dealing with the consequences of this scandal as it affects all future enterprises. Their dubious personal brand is more and more the lifeblood of their endeavors in various media that are losing steam or have flopped, including three dozen public speaking appearances. Future potential partners and sponsors might soon see them as a liability, rather than an asset, possibly undoing all they've done to maintain their public personas. This is a huge issue for Meghan as her personal brand relies on being someone others can relate to and look up to. While any one scandal in theory should be just that, a single smudge on the otherwise pristine reputation she has maintained since stepping into high society, individually, each new crisis eats away at her perceived integrity and potential impact. Certainly, the Sussexes' capacity to recover from this latest fiasco will depend in large part on how they manage their public image going forward. Yet, with public confidence declining they have less and less to choose from. The fallout transcends simply damage to a name, but financial in nature impacting all manner of book deals and streaming partnerships. Having cultivated a high public profile as a media power couple, the stakes are huge for them and the ramifications could be significant if they cannot restore their image. After watching Meghan and Harry go from one scandal to the next in a media pom-pom show, it all feels like some bad soap opera that has lost its edge. The one-time fairy tale of a couple escaping the confines of royal life has morphed into an entangled web of lies, half-truths, and miscues. The latest twist in the saga from hell that shows no sign of ending any time before the end times was what happened to Meghan's disappearing pictures and her obvious secret relations with Prince Andrew, aha. Uh -huh. It is somewhat ironic that, for having fled the UK and absenting themselves from media scrutiny, Meghan and Harry have succeeded in a scandal all of their own making. If anything, Meghan's behavior, from nixing old pictures and scrubbing her past to attempting full control of the narrative around herself is arguably only pouring gasoline on everyone who ever smelled smoke. In suggesting that she is hiding something worse than a can't-totally-prove-meanness mean girl sister. That is a self-made dilemma. The couple never own their mistakes and constantly shift the blame to everything from unwarranted press attention, which is true, to palace staff to everyone else. What is even more baffling though, is their seeming obliviousness to the fact that trying too hard to maintain a message has so spectacularly boomeranged. For each effort by Meghan to scrub the of her records or Harry talking out against his family, more controversy arises sparking a cycle they could not break free from in turn causing untold damage for both their reputations as well as dragging the royal family back into another drama that otherwise should have been left behind. 
While Harry's reaction to Meghan being deceitful is very human, it highlights deeper issues in their relationship. Although they may sell themselves as a rather transparent, modern couple, and I do believe this is probably true to their daily life, there looks to be a shit ton of secrecy and manipulation behind closed doors. One that is in a complete contradiction to the harmonious, love-filled life they're projecting on social media. As Harry comes to terms with the immediate shock, one can't help but wonder what other hidden demons lurk beneath their relationship and how it will weather under growing public scrutiny and private distrust. The royal family wants this to go away so they are keeping mum, drawing on their deep expertise at managing public controversies by saying nothing. The palace simply stands back and allows the pair to hang themselves. The carefully plotted, calculated method underscores how the Sussexes are making it up as they go along particularly when attempting to cross-pollinate with those layers of royal protocols and procedures. At the heart of this is Meghan's relentless determination to control her own narrative, regardless how exhausting and expensive it appears. The public is waking up, slowly but surely from the depths of endless pity for Meghan. It becomes tough to be the one they're always trying to pick you up this issue isn't going away when all it is, negativity-filled time sucks. Skirted between is Meghan, her once tightly spun image of empowerment and relatability now frayed with question or bitterness as she tries to navigate a suspicious world. Sadly, the greatest tragedy in all of this is the missed opportunity Meghan and Harry could have been so much more. They were in a unique and strong position to genuinely influence the direction of the future within the monarchy as that modern lens-slash-perspective is completely refreshing considering everything we know about an institution steeped equally in tradition. To put it differently, they've become larger-than-life characters of themselves, bound in a never-ending loop of scandal and self-marketing. The recent disclosures of a deeply private Megan only go to show, that on occasion it really is just ourselves who stand in our own way. Because you cannot help but sense a certain disappointment, in Meghan's choices, Harry's seeming innocence of the ways things work at his family firm and opportunity missed for something bigger. If they continue in that direction, then the only hope is someone shows them how to stop and think, observing why this cycle actually hurts until experienced firsthand. Failing that correction, their narrative will likely play to a stereotype of the dangerous brilliance that incompetence throttled, one more cautionary tale about ambition and secrecy going wrong under the sway control. During the growing media swell, Meghan is questioned about her behavior like never before. The Duchess of Sussex is participating in a high-stakes game with moving goalposts, from her tactical alliances to an apparent obsession with staying relevant. In this analysis, we will dissect the consequences of rumors alleging Meghan has been having an affair as well interrogate the larger storyline of her relentless quest for fame and fortune while noting what behaviors might be reverberating in widened circles on those close to home, namely Prince Harry. Recently, a name of John Fitzpatrick has popped up in connection to Meghan and it set off all kinds of rumors about their relationship. The defense team for Meghan have tried to play down Fitzpatrick as just a friend, but the prosecution case has included evidence suggesting they were more than that. Photos have surfaced purporting to show Meghan and Fitzpatrick in compromising situations, calling the veracity of her claims into question as she was considered by many commentators during their clearly inappropriate exchanges. Just how close were they really? Their relationship is not entirely clear, but multiple reports describe Fitzpatrick as a wealthy pal who has been helping Meghan navigate life post Megxit. Meghan, on the other hand, may have intentions beyond simply being good friends, his alleged financial help and frequent appearances in her social circle serve as evidence. They then went on to claim Meghan kept her association with Fitzpatrick secret as they said, it is very telling that she is linked up with a divorce lawyer, J.P. McCorder, and was prosecured by Lady Arden from 39 Essex Chambers her verdict against ANL because in front of the judge yesterday. This will help them continue their campaign for financial motive, not chapter and verse. The contention that Meghan might have cheated on Harry with Fitzpatrick adds another level of scandal to her sordid tale. It also raises troubling questions about Meghan's loyalty, not just to her husband but the pristine image of a doting mother and wife she has paraded till now. 
But for Megan, who has repeatedly described herself and friendless prey to both the press and the firm, this may be his turn in popularity from mistaken outsider victim intelligent manipulator. And underneath the headlines swirling around her saying she is unfaithful, one also does not overlook Megan's very calculated moves towards getting a money safety net. With the exception of graphing their runs since stepping down from royal duties, Megan and Harry have gone on to accept big bucks business pursuits such as Netflix deals and book contracts public speaking gigs. And while their new global lifestyle might have all the romantic appeal of making love across Europe, romantic weekend style and substance appears to take a grim turn as it emerges that perhaps Megan's main concern is not in fact love or family but financial security. Critics have claimed much of what Megan has done is motivated by a brazen desire for money selling off her royal connections to the highest bidder and joining wealthy supporters like Fitzpatrick. Between that and a comment on her account saying, it look like you think about your money, Meghan seems to be giving off someone who plans out all of the coins may be too much. All this linking, with men and without Harry nearby only really bolsters beliefs that her association with the prince is more about keeping herself in hawks and less any star-crossed lover's scenario. The critics of Meghan, suggest her cashing in on that royal treatment may be a sign, or even the epicenter, of an emboldening deep-seated insecurity for fear she has no future at all because she is cut off from unlimited tap into pure naked wealth. It looks as though Meghan is building a financial empire, quickly, providing for herself down the road when she longer has much of an acting career. As sensational as all these infidelity rumors are, they seem to suggest how she will do whatever it takes to ensure her financial security, even at the expense of a successful marriage. From Megan, who has placed herself as an Edith Wharton creature dragged down by the Athenome Club whenever she ventures into these gone with the wind redolent woods of royal decorum you are always wrong, and I am always right, Lady Grantham, succeeded in making her something entirely different from what a blast radius too close to unfeeling or judgmental palace protocols challenged woman led through ever more challenging independent lady life be. But cracks in this story of strength are beginning to emerge. If those rumors are to be believed, rumors of infidelity and financial motives, then all may not be what it seems when Megan is in the public eye. Instead, it reads as though well thought out and crafted to disguise her real motivations. The distancing Megan practices from Harry in various projects, including public appearances, alleged romantic links with other men etc., suggest a woman more interested and less proactive about preserving relevance than marital-based values. The way Megan presents herself publicly, surrounded by themes of independence and strong womanhood was a world away from how she behaved privately which became more sociopathic. This widening gap presents a problem for Megan as the disparity between her cleverly spun image and what she actually does burgeons. Of course, however with each new story that comes to light this trust in her character is gradually eroded. It is difficult to believe that Megan was such a victim when you realize the ambition and hunger for cash she has been willing to pursue. It troubles so many people not because Megan is ambitious, it's that her ambition reads as deceitful and unloyal to anyone who knows what a real human connection looks like. But as Megan has predictably gone down in flames with one scandal after the next, it is clear that it is getting to Prince Harry. A once popular royal figure, Harry's standing with the public has taken a major hit in recent years. His frayed ties to his family and the relentless beach of contentious that swirls around Meghan has left Harry at odds, friendless and bicoastal. But this is something Harry would have to accept, for there has been much speculations about Meghan's infidelity and it must be particularly heartbreaking for him given the sacrifices he made on her behalf. When Harry first stepped down from the royal family, it was spun as him choosing his wife and kids over having to live by a bunch of fussy rules. The image of a faithful husband starts to transform into an encaged man trapped in a toxic cycle as Meghan being attacked endlessly. But, following the Duchess of Sussex's spiraling down a self-destructive path and leaving him no way out one burning question hangs over his head, how much more can he take? His undying loyalty towards her is commendable, has come at cost to him personally. Harry reflects on the devastating consequences of his sacrifices, in particular, those related to getting widely estranged from his family, 
damaging public image and grappling with what it means that Meghan might not sacrifice as much. Speculation surrounding Meghan's supposed link to Fitzpatrick goes beyond tittle-tattle, striking at the heart of both the sacrifices Harry has made and his return on a future he would have anticipated as part leaving royal duties, Trace. A striking element of Meghan's behavior is her clear attempt to still make headlines as interest wanes. As other captivating figures steal the media's attention, Meghan is davering to keep a hold of any modicum relevance every initiative taken by the actor Wright from launching new projects to giving high-profile interviews reeks of an attempt to keep her name in the news. For all of Meghan's public displays and impassioned arguments, each new controversy only grows to reflect them as even more desperate. What emerges is less a series of strategic maneuvers than rumors Fitzpatrick behaving as her affair and relentless attempts to secure more financial security together with the portrait of an ex-royal still struggling away how best life outside royalty. A former global wonder and icon to millions Meghan is now simply a fading trope of what's been. It strikes me that Meghan appears to fear the shadow of irrelevancy more than any bad press, so she will do anything and contrive everything to hold this light on her. Now, as Meghan ages and her sway over the public dwindles to virtually zero, those hardly sound like the actions of a proud feminist but rather that of a woman who is quite literally clinging on for dear life. The more she fights to be seen, the more likely she is to lose what little audience and goodwill remains. Meghan was polite proof of the fact that modern fairy tale romances exist, how refreshing to have a newcomer who wasn't Britain baked in tradition forbidden from even existing alongside William and Harry per Prince Charles at one time. Once upon few years back, asterisk hark, asterisk a female royal face mouth bib tickling ever little bit genteel forms chatter, they welcome Zara Phillips too. The drama, more legal battles, now even royal ones. Seems a lot to bear for some in the ongoing saga of the Sussexes. The speed at which a reluctant or possibly unable Meghan is eclipsing that goodwill also reveals how unpopular being the sympathetic hero was among those watching. The latest rumors of infidelity are the latest in a string controversies that have managed to eclipse almost everything Meghan has tried rewrite her image. A positive light reflected on the royal family who have always been highlighted in scandals has fizzled out when it comes to Meghan. The strong, independent lady has turned into the woman who obviously thrives on chaos and controversy, and little bit of notoriety. Meghan's critics say that if she is constantly in the headlines it is a sign of deep insecurity, not strength. Although she was once regarded as someone of positive change, Meghan's more recent actions suggest that her lifestyle has taken precedence over promoting any real and lasting change. Meghan is in a similar situation to the folks on Big Brother, waning public interest as they, and she, continue with their drama and or antisocial behavior, now directly resulting from her actions. From scandal to another, she faces scrutiny on how much of it was intentional or merely the result. The way she is always in desperate need for validation by the powers that be reveals a profound dependency on their system while rejecting them chasing riches or power or social status but never finding satisfaction. Rumors of wrong enjoying, monetary chicanery depict a tally determined by an insatiable oaf who leaves wreckage in his trail. Megan, they argue, wants not peace but an eternal present characterized by reinvention and relevance at any cost. But the central question remains, how viable is this path she is carving as her behavior alienates both the public and her relationships? Will Meghan, after she has scorched the earth with rage upon angrier outrage escape falling into a tar pit of exhaustion? Or, will she eventually face the cruel truth that her desire to be important has come at a great cost? Meghan said that if she thinks of Meghan from Hollywood in her own head, becoming a duchess is beyond your wildest dreams. A clear signa of unstoppable ambition and misaligned wisdom, yet reticent to embrace the future. Megan presents us with a story of an intrepid woman but, the more we see her stick neck out appears less noble and more self-serving. Many times, despite her rhetoric of empowerment and independence, Megan fears the same thing that plagues many millennial women, relevancy. It is this fear that drives her to make bad choices and enter into questionable alliances. Whether the power game she's playing is a potential affair with Fitzpatrick, 
or her insatiable hunt after Doresme, Megan demonstrates only half a grasp of one central notion. True power, especially in the public space, is not about creating headlines or managing a narrative. It's about demanding respect through integrity and representing a cause bigger than yourself in the truest sense. Megan's ongoing scandals reveal a duchess who is still trying to prove herself in the wrong places. The choices she makes, or doesn't make, as Megan embarks on this latest chapter of her roller coaster journey will help define what kind of legacy that is. Right now, she is a figure as polarizing as any in American political life, loved and loathed by nearly equal numbers of voters. And heading farther into the chaos that only seems to make each side love or hate her more, if such a thing were possible. It is uncertain whether Megan can ever rise above the turbulence and walk it like she talks. But one thing is clear. The entire world will be watching, and what Megan does next is likely to have profound implications for our understanding of who she really is. Give me an evolved, in-progress woman whom all women can relate to, give us Meghan Markle. All of the rumors about cheating, money plays and bots will continue to find headway. More than just headlines, they are a window into the soul of Meghan, depicting Duchess arching over reason tussling with fame and love and fellow, effect? There is an enormous task that lies in front of Meghan, one requiring her to reckon a kingdom-sized ambition with the facts that history will tell. With scandals piling up and a frustrated public itching for change, Megan walks an increasingly hazy line. Every choice, every misstep must bear the burden of her past and threaten to unravel this story she has been careful enough not to wind into fine spool. Whether or not Megan will be capable of actually changing her nature is something only time can tell us, but there does seem to be a sense that she might finally break the cycle which has defined so much of her life thus far. But the story doesn't end there. Additional rhymes cover the more recent aspects of Megan's cheating scandal and how her behavior reflects deeper issues with ambition, manipulation, and public vulnerability. We return to our confusion over what these broader implications mean for Harry, as he sits by Megan whilst the cracks deepen, looking more and more turned less on his head-loving self s an increasingly wild-eyed destroyer. So, delving dismissively into these fresh takes, what do all of this tells us about the impending pen portraits on Meghan's character and how is her rickety relationship with the British royal family set to fare next? Should there be any truth in these latest rumors that Meghan is up to no good with John Fitzpatrick it's not only disappointing but an example of me, myself and I being the order of the day, rather than faithfulness and ethics. Allegedly cheating on him is more than just a personal blow, it's also evidence of her being willing to position herself in relationships where she can win. Having a rich man like Fitzpatrick on board implies that Meghan is driven by greed and power more than any sort of love. This rumored affair falls into a pattern of Meghan using personal associations for her self-interest and may have led to the end of her relationship. Meghan is good at moving in the right social circles and her rumored romance with Fitzpatrick seems to be no exception. They see relationships more as transactional interactions based on status, wealth or social cryptos than emotional bonds. This is fines to a trait of manipulative attitude where personal benefit overrides loyalty and commitment. Meghan detractors assert that she married Harry as a power play. A partnership that has brought her international fame and a platform she would not have been able to achieve with on its own. The very claims of infidelity suggest that Meghan is hardly giving up on her hopes, rather, she has reinvented them to adapt with what exists before and after this moment. If Fitzpatrick offers a more lucrative or vital chance, Meghan is ready to take it even if it parts of the cost in person. The legal murk surrounding Meghan's rumored connection to Fitzpatrick invariably has on whatever public heat it attracts palled into the background by tragedy of a more emotional nature for Prince Harry. Harry has painted himself as an uncomplaining supporter of Meghan, giving up his royal duties, breaking with the family and bashing his public image to stand by her side. Yet Meghan's behavior is causing him to reconsider whether that loyalty will ever be fully reciprocated. Harry's quest to be settled down with Meghan is so often cast romantically as an act of rebellion against a cruel establishment. But the truth is much more complicated. Assuming Meghan has been unfaithful, 
The very fabric of their relationship is thrown into question and Harry must endure that as a cruel betrayal. So could Harry actually up and leave his whole family, halfway across the world under public scrutiny just to take a side with what he thought was protecting an essence of keeping his marriage on its top level, compared only in contrast all those hungry tabloids? Such a reveal would break the illusion, and Harry, potentially with nothing to show for all of his sacrifice. A post-royal life that, for Harry, has been marked by loyalty to Meghan. A whiff of betrayal by her compromises the bedrock upon which they have crafted their common odyssey as Harry is left in critical benumment. Even though he still loves Meghan, the reality hits him hard that her dedication to him might not have been as stainless steel and unconditional devotion always assumed. Frank dismissed the rumors about Meghan's affair, casting doubts over her motives and general plans. With public opinion stacking high against her, and piles of national scandals trashing the current image she's attempting to craft for herself, two big strikes here, this alleged Bill Fitzpatrick connection may in fact be a perplexed well-considered love affair stage managed towards ensuring Caitlin Bristow stays relevant. Meghan is losing relevance and she may be driving her relationship to Harry into the ground, all while sowing an image of clamoring for control over narrative destiny whilst seeking financial safety. It feels like she has aligned herself with a figure in the mold of Fitzpatrick as an investment to keep her options open should for whatever reason, her own marriage be without stakes. Meghan, critics say she has an opportunistic character lines and depend on relationships to change the life of her story, she always try to gain at any position regardless whose step on head. The method, when effective as promised, sounds really good but is the sort of thing that comes with great risk and would cause complete ruin should her true motivations come to light. As hopes fade of her image management, the public's patience with Megan wears thin credit, Getty Images Generator. As the consequences of her daring deeds are about to threaten to outweigh whatever advantages she may have gotten out of taking these calculated risks, finally increasing the extent of which is facing alienation and loss in stature. The persistent rumors of cheating by Meghan are just the latest in a long line of scandals that seriously hit her reputation. Although previously Meghan was broadly seen by the public as having been treated abysmally by both the royal family and press, we imagine lowering that traditional level of goodwill to some degree, with her recent behavior, she will not help those who have viewed her in such a way. There is one thing that might inflame Meghan Markle even more, the charges of an affair with Fitzpatrick, which they do, are particularly damaging because they strike at what she has so carefully curated as her own personal narrative, a story of love, loyalty, and fighting back against adversity. As Meghan's narrative is exposed more and more with each scandal, the public opinion of her is rapidly changing. Ultimately, Meghan can only shape the story so much before her actions continue to appear hypocritical of the very values she continued touting. The frequent requests for privacy butting up against her relentless media strategy, the attempts to paint herself as an aggrieved spouse while rumors circulate about behavior that looks less than innocent. As a result, the public's impression of Meghan has gone from being a spirited and normal modern figure among royals to one that is becoming increasingly disillusioned with her. The rumors of Meghan slept with her man continue to reinforce that negative image, a portrait leveled by cheating claims and showing more disdain for even those nearest to you. Meghan has to both answer these most recent allegations and at the same time acknowledge her own karma if she wants to survive this setback. The emphasis on Meghan's rumored infidelity has wider repercussions for the royal family as a whole, being another scandal that requires its members to confront issues both personal and public which may conflict with an image they have taken such pains to create. Meghan's actions inevitably make the royal family mired in scandals, leading to setbacks both in terms of internal department and public image. If the rumors of infidelity are believed, this is a key way that Meghan's actions once again mobilizes suspicion across institutional lines and throw into question their ability to keep it all together, literally. She is a headache, an ongoing challenge to the leadership and public image of King Charles, Prince William, and all senior royals. Most importantly, her behavior may or may not be the spilling point that forces this rudderless family to confront the uncomfortable truths about loyalty, honesty, and relational complexities of their shared modern lives.
The accusations of infidelity further complicate what is already a very public controversy, raising questions over how the royal family will protect its image against such visible scandal. With the relentless focus on Meghan in the public eye and her need for attention, it would seem that the firm are going to be caught up this drama well into the future. In this house of eugenics and stoicism, Meghan is the fly in their ointment, a constant flying source of disruption that they must delicately cover up with denials about what she has experienced to try not discredit themselves in front of public. Accusations of Meghan cheating have led to intense gossip about her bond with Harry, who fell in love and fathered his son while a DHS staff member. Though the couple has put on a rare united appearance in public, ongoing scandals suggest all is not well behind closed doors. As the newlyweds join together to puzzle out where Fitzpatrick enters Meghan's story as a rumor and friends, they must face difficult questions of trust, loyalty, and whether their relationship has spun so far beyond its axis that there is no hope for ever turning it back. Meghan has been a rock in Harry's tumultuous life, but the betrayal rumors are threatening to undermine that. It could ruin Harry, even make him feel like a mug for the sacrifices he has made and path he chose to go down with Meghan if she is not as committed to their marriage as ours on end of chat reportedly was following his vow. Their marriage is under pressure to explode after the cumulative impact of Meghan's behavior and ceaseless media scrutiny have become too much for a 39-year-old woman who, it seems most likely, cannot go on. Now it will be hers to navigate these treacherous waters without losing the one person who has always been there for her. But as fresh rumors of infidelity continue to swirl, it seems the path ahead will be anything but smooth. How they handle this latest chapter will depend not only on their mutual affection but also how open and honest they are with each other about the facts of what has gone down between them. Viewing the charges of infidelity on Meghan Markle, including her constant playing shows how much what she did has changes, not just about Harry mighty otherworldly female sexiness but also on his dream mounts. Her dogged drive for status, wealth and control has led her to a place where relationships are nothing more than disposable assets valuable only insofar as they serve her immediate needs. Though this may reap short-term benefits, it has destroyed relationships for a long time which led to broken trust and disillusioned citizens. Meghan's story is a simple one, of raw ambition without introspection, it is the annihilation of overweening self-interest. Should the claims about her contacts with Fitzpatrick prove true, it will not only be a betrayal of Harry but also an indication of just how far Meghan is prepared to go for column inches and to salvage some semblance of opportunity in Emily Charles's future. Meghan was faced with unforeseen challenges, whether it be through her words stated or demure within the kingdom of A-list, drilling into a Jessica dress during an interview may not have mellowed out Hollywood quite as she had hoped. This is just the latest incident to secure her name as a controversial Hollywood, and beyond, persona. Precision of what transpired during her Emmy's appearance is not clear yet, but those close to the event suggest that her behavior did not go down well with their star-studded audience. As well various rumors suggested that Meghan's brash, confident directness in her dealings with some other high-profile guests was deemed as impolite and arrogant or have strayed from the tone of what Seychelles Gala is all about. There have been several witnesses who claimed that it was an awkward event, many of them reported feeling uncomfortable with Meghan's demeanor. There is speculation that she possibly came of as condescending or too full of herself. These are not traits that normally earn someone entry into a room of top professionals who have spent years working to rise above the fray. One thing seems to be clear no matter which way you slice it, the reaction was swift and unforgiving. The boos of derision that greeted Meghan's departure from the platform also flew in stark contrast to the usual warm reception presenters are given at such events. It was an embarrassing moment that only further fueled the criticism of Meghan's attempts to negotiate Hollywood bread and butter. Meghan has always presented herself striving for relatability, aimed to be seen as this down-to-earth person who could merge the world of royalty and celebrity. And yet, the Emmys led us to believe that we are not even close. In a town all about authenticity and applied wattage, Meghan is nowhere near making inroads into the proving ground for Hollywood insiders. This may be part of the problem, Meghan has a self-important attitude. 
especially not when you consider she thinks being former royalty should somehow cement her a place amongst the Hollywood elite, without realizing that one earns a reputation as a celebrity in Tinseltown, it's not birthright. The couple haven't been given same respect the number of seasoned A-list earned over decades with Disney's perceived treatment for Meghan coming off more like disrespected than simply having to stop trading her Hollywood lifestyle, including red carpets, movie premieres, and working as an actress. Additionally, her attempts to present herself as a Hollywood insider combining with social activism can feel forced and phony. The battle to find her way into a space where she can feel accepted and respected has manifested in an array of awkward public appearances, making it pretty clear that Benowitz might be slightly out of her depth. It was not the first time in which Meghan found herself in an awkward position. Already, she has shown a knack for pissing those in royal circles, Hollywood gatherings, and even her own inner circle. The Emmys came as the latest instance in a series of behaviors people have called out from her. Meghan has been described by critics as unreasonable, petty, and not able to deal with the world of celebrites. The self-awareness or lack thereof in her statement only adds fuel to the fire. More often than not, she really seems to have no idea how much her words and actions can hurt others, which makes it easy for people to call bullshit on that. Due to Megan's tendency to talk over people, or lecture them, or simply act like she is the know-it-all. Basically had a lot of folks questioning her ability to finesse diplomatic Hollywood waters. Each public appearance she makes reveals a person who only serves as the president and not someone building anyone's town hall alliances. Prince Harry is there by her side the most often, never ending no matter how many missteps are made. In fact, Harry has increasingly cast himself as a faithful ally of Meghan, to the point that some are wondering if his loyalty is more liability than advantage. Harry, a once high-ranking figure in his own right is now just the aideka or facilitator to Meghan's rather volatile world. Most often, he is seen nodding his head in agreement to all she does and making excuses for any errors. And sure, on the face of it this may sound like a loyal husband but in reality is covering up and burying his head ostrich-style into the sand. In the same way, Harry never encourages Meghan but just gives blind support, and therefore does not guide her in terms of helping understand social cues she might miss, says something either to his quality as a husband slash his own personal strength or lack thereof, and even worse technically reinforcing negative traits on her dot alimulinment. If Harry encourages Meghan's public failings, it makes him part of her downfall. The Emmys event resulted in immediate and vicious backlash. Meghan was panned by thousands of hot takes, while entertainment news outlets chased her around to catch every move and word that came out of her mouth. The thunderous boos represent her rocky public and industry image. But this latest embarrassment is more than a mere slip, it reflects Meghan's underlying perception problem. Instead of showing any humility and playing by the rules in that town, she's maddeningly smug there, making a small name for herself as much trouble does talent. The moral of Megan's story, ambition over ability. But because she never quite succeeds in her world-beating dreams, we fear of whether or not she is capable and worthy enough to shine the limelight on. This Emmy stunt, on the other hand, shows she might overestimate how much power people think TV critics have and underestimate her own humility slash acuity. Megan must ask herself why she alienated her supporters then in turn what changes will need to be made for her people to reshape the narrative, maybe soften your public demeanor, and digest some of that advice plus acknowledge respect is not given freely in this country. Megan and Harry, meanwhile, seem on track to continue trying to sell themselves as the abused party with misunderstood intentions even in their post-controversy future, a narrative that has run wearisomely thin for evermore ended Brits uninterested in playing at drama again. Now, Meghan needs to redeem herself in the court of public opinion and regain her credibility. It will not be an easy task with her background and growing backlash against everything she does. This will require an adjustment to the way they think and approach certain things, something that just might be too much for someone who is so stuck in their traditional ways. Harry opines, I don't see the comparisons really. If he continues to back her, it could be the final straw in him falling out of public favor. 
A once beloved figure has been recast as nothing more than another piece on Megan's board to fame. He, too, has a decision to make, stand by his wife without pause or find some means of escaping the turmoil. After watching this week's episode, it is very hard to not see Megan's as a self-saboteur. She has all the ingredients necessary to create a powerful brand. But it sounds like she's determined to ruin at all opportunities with actions and behaviors that repel instead of attract. She herself was likely entirely incapable of understanding her nominations at the Emmys, but whatever it is that she did during or after the show shows a larger pattern of self-destructive behavior. She rarely does it with poise, humility, and an open-mindedness, but more often than not she comes off defensive, confrontational, and out of touch. Until she can recognize this and start to do something about it, all the acclaim is likely unwarranted. It seems the public is losing patience with Meghan. When she first joined the royal family, we were enthralled and sympathetic, those emotions have almost completely evaporated now though eclipsed by cynicism or worse still in some cases hostility. The Emmys episode is indicative of this sea change in public opinion. It has to be remembered, voters are getting sick and tired of all the drama, forever being a victim, seemingly always playing for attention. Meghan and Harry first made headlines when they dared to go against royal tradition. Unfortunately, that might come back to bite them in the coffin as they could become an example of what happens when one becomes too big for their britches. While the world still won't stop talking about what purported to be Meghan Markle's being booed off stage at the 2024 Emmy Awards, there are plenty of other depths to this saga that deserve further excavation. The Emmy Awards encounter was not only an awkward moment in her public profile but crystallized a larger challenge that hangs over the Duchess to this day. Preconfigured throughout with a mix of hubris, tone deafness and fame at all costs chutzpah, this episode clarifies the fundamental issues fueling Meghan's ongoing war with both Hollywood, oh sweet naive industry walls. Talking about Meghan being booed at the Emmys is actually talking around the elephant in the room, a daughter who seems to think she's as important as her father. Meghan seems to feel that she is entitled to respect, adulation and blind belief because of who she is. But Hollywood doesn't work that way, at least, not in a town where stars are made on merit and not by birthright. It was as if Meghan assumed she would be welcomed into the arms of Hollywood's elite at the Emmys. These are worlds apart from the booze Fergie received, which suggested that she was not considered a colleague high flyer but an opportunist trying to capitalize on royal links for exposure. As the publication's source mused, the reality is that Meghan married into the royal family to be famous and she got exactly what she wanted. Now if only there was a way for her not to make it look so obvious when using Harry because NBD at this point they've all made an agreement with the press. This misstep shows a bigger problem, Meghan seems to not be aware of her place in Hollywood's pecking order. She wants to be the darling of crowds and treated like a top-tier A-lister without having ever been one in reality. But Meghan's combination of activism and celebrity has stumped a lot. There's a lot to be said for why people in the headlines should put themselves out there for worthwhile things, but Meghan often seems pious when she says those same words. Meghan's appearance would have looked rubbish compared to the people at, say, a mass Emmy event who have actually spent their lives using those same platforms for real change. Her speeches sound too scripted, all buzzwords and hollow platitudes, no real meat or passion. Megan seems to be more interested in looking like an agent of change than she is with actually doing the hard work that real activism requires. It is quite possible that the Emmy's audience, who watches the art of fakery with a trained eye, detected in this an air of insincerity. Her penchant for dipping into cause after half-finished cause merely evokes the suspicion that she is someone who wants to be seen as a humanitarian, rather than actually being one. And then there is the booing episode at the Emmys, which suggests one aspect of Meghan's past still clearly in play, her sad desire for approval from an often cruel Hollywood elite that has not yet wholly accepted her. In a bind, Meghan is trying to lead herself far away from the British royal family while also grasp for fame as an international icon fortune burnished on some levels by her ties with royalty. Yet, as Meghan struggles to fit into this mold, the laws of Hollywood still apply. 
She wants to be accepted and identified as part of that community so badly. Yet Hollywood is notoriously suspicious of those perceived as attempting to make a quick buck, especially when an outsider comes calling. By fighting so hard to make a name for herself in this field, Megan comes across as desperate and insincere, two characteristics that do not play well with New Age media based on all-out portmanteau. This booing event at the Emmys may also be seen as Hollywood having mimed a collective sentiment towards Meghan's attempted marriage into respectability, and showed her that acclaim will not come for simply being highborn. It can only truly reside in genuine skill or useful contribution to other people. Meghan has had a silent battle with her identity playing out in the public sphere. It might seem trivial to some, but it is an aspect of humanity that subtly and slowly nibbles away at individuals who feel unseen, ignored, less than human even, if I dare say so myself. Is she a humanitarian? A media personality? A celebrity? Or a rebellious royal figure? Megan is going for all of them and as a result, she comes across like track lighting at Applebee's, illuminating nothing. Her Emmy's performance also fit this mold, her awkward exchanges that night, protests about the camera, would have only been accentuated by not knowing what language to use. Did Meghan intend to be there as an advocate for some lofty cause, rubbing elbows with Hollywood royalty or just trying to milk yet another 15 minutes of fame? This ambiguity makes it precisely difficult to touch her or for anyone with that level of understanding. Mixed signals of Megan have no value when branding and messaging are key in a world like today. That ambiguity is both a strategic blunder and one of personal pride. Megan is wrestling with a potential identity crisis, it may not know how it wants to present itself in public. Without truly understanding who she is and what matters to her, however, each time Megan enters a new realm, be it royal or Hollywood, trying on different personas will look false. Everyone sees the hilarious predicament Meghan is in. Now, just months after leaving Britain to escape the public eye, she seemingly can help but indulge in it whenever suits. This contradiction is not only bizarre but has also instigated the rage of public pandemic. Meghan, the person who chased attention to be top of mind while crying victim and wishing it would stop. The recent Emmy's shit show is a perfect example. Others including the critics within her family circle who so resemble her in certain ways that they cannot see what is actually good about their mother, e.g. Oprah's claims of being violated or Maya Angelou rescuing Winfrey from a senseless quest for revenge, recognize insincerity behind any appeal to privacy as she structures outings at high-profile events like this one with Vanity Fair while thinking it's just another day out, staging media feuds then stating all she wants is peace and Harmony Documentary After Personal Documentary The lackluster response from the Emmy's viewership could have just been a sign of everyone being tired, after three days this week spent pretending to give a shit about such an obviously solipsistic man. It becomes difficult to take Megan seriously if she is asking for media scrutiny and intrusion then complaining about it. This disparity has many as a consequence questioning whether the it was really her intent to go unseen. Among the more queried complaints outlined in Megan's 28 allegations is that she comes across as not being authentic. For all the fiction that Hollywood loves, it prizes sincerity and commitment even more, if not quite an authenticity with which Megan simply seems to struggle. Seems most people believe she is a royal social climber who has attained fame using her title rather than having worked tirelessly and honed her craft. At the Emmys, this probably did little to help those who spend years working their way up and being told they are not allowed. That is a tough pill to swallow for an audience that loves really aspiring underdog journeys, just ask Megan. In other words, instead of building bridges in Hollywood and around the world she actually seems to be making enemies. Her essence is a turn-off not through lack of substance, but in her inability to relate with the people she so desires. And as long as she keeps living with the masks, yielding to herself and employing particular sides that are not true for her identity, those trusting people will simply be repelled by such an individual. Tess brings that up in the scene, and let's not forget Harry is pulling this transaction. While Meghan has risen to prominence and is basking in the spotlight, Harry stands beside her as a loyal sidekick. 
but in his silence, he also becomes an enabler of her public gaffes. If anything, his unwavering loyalty can read to some as a form of blind commitment, an unwillingness to accept the damage being done to their public guise. Harry appears willing to follow Meghan into a journey that is being more and more disapproved by the public, shutterstock, loyal silence, stripped of any counterweighting voice, Harry seems prepared simply to march on while keeping his own counsel. I just hope he realizes it's far too late. Maybe he might think that his role is to be simply behind the scenes because she always comes up front and then becomes too involved with her in backing up some of her public faux pas by default. He might be better off doing some self-examination himself. But if there was one lesson Megan should have taken away from all of her very public woes, it is the undeniable urgency for shapeshifting. Interesting that the bane of her married existence and equally wearing one-woman focus group story, that tonight was all for Hillary, full throttle not one mention of Donald. Winefield Wishman still has little left in her goodwill tank, but she will be exposed to another round of deserved machine-gun booze at Emmys aside from this going on. It was a call from the people for something new, something real, and not politicized in advance. This is where Megan found herself at a turning point in an experience. Instead, she has a decision to make, does she keep going along the path of contradictions and controversies which is currently her case or stop, think for herself and find another way in interacting with world? The last option is unequivocally the harder path, but also more rewarding and redeeming. This factor runs heavily throughout the Emmys fiasco, that when it comes to Megan, there is a decision toward apathy. What began as novelty about her metamorphosis from a royal insider to an outsider spec had turned to near-constant exhaustion. Who could tell where the spectacle stopped, with its endless search for affirmation and entitlement, it all just makes us tired. And that indifference feels contagious within the world she inhabits. This slow-moving lack of interest bodes very poorly for Megan's brand. Read more the crowd is no longer angry or upset, it's just bored. Sector 2 BA asterisk 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 and celebrity, at the E, the nightmare of nightmares in the land of celebrity? Those boos at the Emmys weren't merely a vote of no confidence, they served as an omen of diminishing returns. Meghan Markle could seriously learn something from the 2024 Emmys boos, if she's listening the decisive question is now. Will Meghna look inside or will she blame her perceived issues on someone and deny any part that considers its role in the situation? Megan seems to be happy playing the part of a misaligned pioneer leading the charge against perceived slights and doing so in front of whoever will pay attention. But if she will not adapt, practice humility and prefer real relationships to relentless strife, she might just end up more alone and out of touch than ever. Remember their safari scene and how she was right there by his side surrounded by elephants roaming around. Do you remember that scene? I could tell from the look on her face that she was hating every second of it. Definitely not a Starbucks. It was just as unglamorous. And suddenly, it was like he had settled into himself. He swatted down everything else he could do in life, that was the one path on which this judge knew his way, it seemed. Megan then shared how this lifestyle was also for her. Her future was determined when she took part in an engagement video where she made it clear that there would be no half-stepping if they plunged in the business. He is truly wasting his money, and all he did was run away like a little bitch to California. However, what you do find fascinating that Prince Harry found a template of the situation in which he could visualize life with Meghan Markle. What went wrong then? Allow me to elaborate. Apparently, Harry had an only slightly more complicated plan of attack, or deal with, Wadavera Menklature. It would, however be a solution he discussed with Queen Elizabeth II and one that he was hopeful might benefit him long term as an individual, or part of duo should Meghan want to return. But, alas the Queen saw right through everything. She was continually looking for the webcam red light to shine. It was pretty clear once he pointed it out that this is actually the center of attention. But it appears Harry was inspired by another besotted royal couple, Zara and Mike Tyndall. That said, Mike is a nice northern lad, he's from Wakefield in Yorkshire, so he can come across quite blunt and standoffish to those who don't know him. 
But what truly intrigued Harry was the option to enjoy all of those bells and whistles, as would be granted attending most royal events. It was made easy by the fact that Her Royal Highness Princess and aka the Princess Royal. She did not take a title like her sibling, which allowed for an alternate lifestyle and career path. That was the ethos to which the Princess Royal aspired when raising her own children. Harry apparently proposed this to Her Majesty the Queen and, while she was impressed with it too, less so. And she knew it was going to take a great deal of help if the British monarchy were ever going to be taken into 21st century. Afterwards, she also noted that Meghan Markle had no plans to shuffle between the two places. On the other hand, if it were to mean that you are on the balcony, like when trooping the color is happening and all this kind of thing, then I think they would be overjoyed. It is essential to remember that this was a 70-year monarch, so it could not be slighted. She had seen it all during her reign Harry was also upset to learn that Zara and Mike's system is a smokescreen that he himself could never achieve. Poor Harry, the only one who could not see through Meghan, it was clear right from the word go that Meghan likes limelight than royal duties in case we need to look at it. She was already rehearsing her future role the moment she set foot inside that palace in which played back and forth were no matter what. All characters seem to have been permanently cast as both awful villains taker enabler victim howling protagonist of their own invisible drama. Yet for doubters, the engagement interview represented a conclusive moment. They were just a few of the forced smiles, overzealous charm and not-so-subtle messages to modernize the monarchy which clearly signaled she wanted all that status but with little effort. Princess and, who has her own checkered history within palaces, as a noted source told me pretty quickly clicked on to what Meghan was really up to. I admire and for her forthright manner. Harry, bless him is either love-struck or too innocent to see that he's little more than another prop on Meghan's career as Miss I Can Make a Difference. Harry Zipper Mouth Face Build Cap High Voltage, at Woke Lady, March 18, 2021 Blinded by her Hollywood glamour, he cannot see past the transparent facade to watch as others witness their drama unfold. Exit obligations, family members and even self-respect as they do what she tells them to. Through all of this, Meghan carries on the act careening from performance to performance selling huge whoppers about being the most trolled person in the world at people too naive or starstruck to recognize her deceit is reaching its expiry date. And as Harry remains her unknowing puppet, the show must go on. The couple who have always seen through Meghan's surface chuckle. The fairy tale princess picture of the life in front of her is at odds with how much hard work and all that responsibility there actually is. When her adulation and royal treatment is not forthcoming she has a spectacular tantrum in which we discover the true extent of this spoiled diva. Megan taking the role of devil struggling to adapt, refusing rewrite lines according to her desires. She had a high opinion of herself and thought everything should come easily to her, she was jealous that Catherine carried herself with grace and dignity. Her frustration at being relegated to the back seat by Catherine spurred her on and she set about attacking her, concocting stories of victimization coupled with tales of skillful work that invalidated everything Catherine had built. But Meghan and Harry have declared war on the royal family in an attempt to avoid accountability while also hypocritically whining about their new life from atop a California mansion. The coercion and malice in Meghan's actions becomes apparent to everyone as she wields them against the establishment but restricts that same power from taking it over herself, as well driven by envy rather than equality. This is war for Meghan, it's not just Catherine, anyone who denies her gets target. Unsurprisingly, then what we have is the continued TV show drama where Meghan always wins and gains more attention to play both lead role actress and soap opera anti-heroine. The other major challenge is that she has little grasp of what it means to be in the royal family, and certainly has no interest in learning her new roots. I think Harry ought to have educated Meghan on his family, helping her against all hopes in settling in with less discomfort. Either they wanted to leave the UK, or perhaps more simply she wished away from Windsor family and the United Kingdom. As they say, love can be blind. On the bright side, she obviously knows what it is like trying to keep a man who comes with that much baggage in line from her previous marriage. This situation had better involve karma. 
The presence of kids makes things messy. The court of public opinion has buoyed and battered Meghan Markle into arguably the most divisive figure of our time. Originally hailed as fresh blood in the British royal family, Meghan has since gained a reputation for drama and diva behavior that even Hollywood insiders are shocked by, not to mention former employees at Buckingham Palace. Meghan finds herself at the center of controversy with claims that she has been a bully and is cooperative. And yet, it's not all about her. Harry himself is accused of colluding, providing a platform for her lunacy while unable or unwilling to contain the chaos she whirls up. Meghan Markle has led a hardly conventional life from the sparkly realm of Hollywood to hallowed halls of British monarchy. Meghan started out as a poster girl for modern-day sensibilities and brashness, but that success was fast becoming decidedly mixed with so many detractors. Sources within Hollywood and former palace aides have presented a damning picture of someone who is difficult to work with, appears intent on creating tension when she walks into the room. The allegations are severe. Megan has been called a bully who is missing basic manners when engaging with people. It is reported that she will swear, harass and abuse those who do not respond to her demands or they did anything below standard. It not only made her colleagues isolated but also increasingly harder for her to find help or support in their work. One thing that is striking about these complaints, regardless of the context in which they are made. Whether in Hollywood or the UK, Megan appears to be creating a toxic and untenable environment. Its swagger is not just semantic, it lacks the substance. She has a reputation for harshness, dismissiveness and outright intransigence about opposing opinions. Megan himself has a history of manipulation, not just aggressiveness as I hinted at earlier. Accusations of her being habitual liar, manipulative and undermine those around to place herself in the dominant position. It is a classic profile of the bullying personality, someone who thrives on power and control, easily locating weakness in those around her to press further with that vibe of dominance. Even some of the palace staffers who used to work for her have given hotel suite accounts more akin to reality television drama than stately royal service. Meghan has a low tolerance level for anyone who dares to question her decisions or challenge any of her opinions. Instead, she cultivates an atmosphere of fear where people are too afraid to speak up, and no one has strength or willpower left in them to continue working with her. This is particularly unsettling behavior from a figure who holds so much power and has such reach. But Meghan has revealed a deep-seated desire to be right and in charge, neither of which is conducive for creating an uplifting, cooperative atmosphere. Her way of doing has led to ruined relationships and dead projects, an utter biography of the dysfunction she entreated. Criticism is being heaped largely on Meghan, but her husband Prince Harry does not escape from criticism. Once an equally loved figure of Gooseberry Jam Harry in the UK, he is now often seen better side by side with Meghan so to speak. Harry, on the other hand has developed into her biggest enabler rather than a check to some of her more caustic behavior. He seems to take on the yes-man position, backing her no matter what she does wrong. There gets to be a lot more nuance in the way that Harry can fit into this relationship role. On the other hand, he loves Meghan dearly and feels very obligated to her. His ever-supportive role, meanwhile, only intensifying the drama and hysteria around her actions even when for damage control, holding her hand through every scandal, public feud and polarizing decision, Harry has tied his brand to Meghan's fortune or misfortune. Critics say that Harry's unquestioning loyalty to Meghan is a sign of his poor judgment or even as being so under her influence, he has ceased to be an independent voice. He seems to not let bother him Meghan's bullying, and lacking evidence for either allow me to express speculation as needed underscore rdwr over distress at the potential harm this said without anger there or insignificant empt. A common criticism of Meghan is her distorted reality. As others have said before, she seems to exist in a reality all her own and has some sort of distorted logic that helps keep intact the idea of her unerringness regardless evidence to the contrary. This reinforce of her own misconceptions encourage confrontational behavior and fuels more conflicts climaxing the story into a cycle.
It seems like Megan secretly believes that she's some kind of unsung genius whose bright future is getting stifled by everyone else. Being so convicted to such a way of thinking would explain why she reacts with hostility towards those who do not fit into that mold, or when people disappoint her. In many situations, Megan has painted herself as a victim and often points the finger at everyone but her own poor choices. Seems like a quintessential sign of someone with narcissistic tendencies, does not take criticism well plus needs copious amounts of attention and approval. Maybe Megan's insatiable hunger for spotlight and acknowledgement points to a low self-esteem, making her require some sort of recognition at the expense of others around. Harry and Meghan are often shown to be lovingly support one another. But some are holding out for something else, something more profound. And their relationship has been suggested to be toxic and codependent. For Harry, uncertain about who he is and why the hell he is in a royal family at all, Meghan equals savior rescuing him from this awful place full of deadly secrets. Meghan seems to bask in the attention and platform Harry's status allows her. But there are some downsides of this structure. Harry now looks a diminished figure stripped of his own identity, replaced by an appendage to Meghan and her plans. He appears ready to sanction whatever Meghan wants, even if it was going to make them both into figures of fun or cause their duress. This is a mutually beneficial agreement as both parties love attention slash validation slash sympathy. Meghan brings the drama and controversy while Harry provides a touch of royalty and media saturation. It's a win-win proposal, yet doomed to strife and chaos. After Meghan opened up about her mental health issues, many people which led to sympathy and outrage. Many admire her frankness to deal with mental health issues in a raw way, while others accuse of Sinclair using that as an excuse not be responsible. Contested as her repeated dropping of the phrase mental health dot horizontal rule. Meg denigrates her pain, which some see as a misuse of vulnerability, not for understanding but rather to shield herself from the consequences of her behavior. And critics say the company may be using legitimate mental health issues to change public opinion. This perspective would ultimately serve to trivialize mental health problems, rendering them instrumental in the pursuit of compassion. However, in doing so Megan may unintentionally negate empowerment she purports to advocate for thus creating an infrastructure of power, false, that calls into question her authenticity. Accusing Megan of living in her self-made echo chamber, never differing opinion but from those who will wholeheartedly back or not remotely question. Megan appears to be immune from any criticism or differences of opinion. It helps create an echo chamber in which she is never wrong and any failures are not the result of her own missteps, but those of others. Threaded needle pondering bottlenecks personal growth and self-awareness. If Megan fails to hear and act on input such as Alexandra's, it is unlikely that this feedback will elicit behavior change. She's therefore doomed to continue replaying the same mistakes, expecting different results, the very definition of insanity. Harry continues to be her loudest champion, too. And he reflects back to her what she already believes, that at every turn, it's about how things keep happening to her, never is there any responsibility on the part of his helpless victim. This is an interaction that sets up a cycle in which bad behavior essentially goes unchecked, only to be amplified. Megan is a strong and compassionate persona who speaks on subjects of mental health, women rights, social justice. Nevertheless, skeptics say that it is very convenient for her to show empathy in some cases but not others. For example, Megan's public support for certain causes almost always comes with press and carefully crafted photo ops. Yet somehow, she earns a reputation for being standoffish and inflexible among those closer in proximity, former teammates or colleagues, or even family. This shown inconsistency has led to doubts about her sincerity of compassion, as many argue that it is more of a PR bluff than genuine referential reflections. Looking back at the journey of Megan you can see there is a self-destructive behavior. She could have been a success story of a biracial woman scraping at the finally cracking plastered ceiling the British royal family is, using her position to do something worthwhile and, for once, breathe fresh life into an old institution. Indeed, 
it has evolved into a tale of hubris and warning for those who succumb to the realities, illusory or not, that they believe about their own legend. That Megan would become the architect of her own destruction, choosing paths that repulse rather than endear. Her behavior, lambasted as controlling, dishonest and plain nasty has reversed would-be friends into foes and wasted the early benevolence her audiences provided. How self-aware they are of the damage to their business is debatable. But what is clear, their grievances continue to reach critical mass as they alienate the rest of us, not with controversial statements but instead waging internecine battles powered by triviality rather than offering substantive efforts towards potential solutions. At present, however, they appear happy to play their part in the drama that continues unabated. Still, the question remains, how long can they keep this up before people get fed up with you? The Meghan and Harry story is one of incredible waste, a saga that seems hellbent on self-destruction. Observers, some with fascination, others with irritation, watch outside the public eye as they wait for whatever never-ending chapter in this unfolding royal drama. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.